FIBA exhibition games are now over. Um, each team had five exhibition games. The uh, USA team, man, they had a scare in that last game, but they ended those five games 5-0. and oh. um, Jaron Jackson Jr. from the Memphis Grizzlies has proven himself, man. He is a stud out there on that court. Um, what are your guys' thoughts on what you've seen so far? First game, I think they'll be August 25th in the Philippines against New Zealand, if I'm not mistaken. It'll be weird timing, though, because of the where, where it's being played. Yeah, but uh, what I think is everybody has a freak out about how a Team USA team is going to look, and this team's been fine. I thought they do have some lulls, though. Like, they'll have some bad stretches of basketball where they're turning the ball over not playing good defense but they usually respond and i thought they responded in that germany game it was just pretty late they yeah. responded pretty damn late uh my big takeaway though yes jaron jackson jr six blocks closed out that game with his defense anthony edwards good god <laughs> yeah 34 points four for eight from three like my word he's so good and we had we had questions with him coming into uh the nba did he care about it? He always talked about football being his first sport and his real love, and he didn't really grind at basketball. But yeah. we see he's grinding at basketball. He see, I don't think you, I don't think you can uh, play that well without loving the game. Yeah, no, Triple J has been impressive. You know, just continuing to show how good of a defensive player he is, and you know, it'll be exciting to continue to see what he does. But it's hard to talk about the U.S. national team and not talk Anthony Edwards. Yeah, like no, it's crazy. Me and Kenny saw him when he was 19 years old in Atlanta, and it was like the the st this, the narrative was the same stuff you're saying. Like, yeah. this kid doesn't really care, but he's the best player in the country. Like, it doesn't look like he's really trying that hard, but he's incredible. And so to see him now look like he's – he was an all-star. He's a good, great scorer, been a really good yeah. scorer. But now it's like, okay, this dude could really take a step in a straight-up superstar. You know what I want to see, though? Because I feel like this is going to be a little bit of a power struggle. I foresee it being a power struggle with the Timberwolves. Carl Anthony Towns still wants to be a guy, too. Yeah. Anthony Edwards needs the ball in his hand. Yeah, he, he needs, needs to be the, like, the guy. Carl Anthony Towns, take a back seat, brother. Yeah. Because this guy is the real deal. He's 22 years old. He's been to an all-star game. He's He is the future. He's one of the future faces of the NBA. He needs to be... The lead guy, no questions asked. Don't get mad about it. Although I can see Carl Anthony Towns getting yeah. mad about it. He has a high view of himself. He said he, I think he said he changed the game with how good of a shooter he is. Good God, we've seen stretch fives before, brother. Yeah. It's not, not it's, it's not that new. Um, but but no, Anthony Edwards needs to be the lead guy there for the Timberwolves and really for offensively for this national team. Yeah, he's 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 best, most impressive creator of his own shot on this team. And it looks like everyone on the national team knows that yeah. he is the guy. Steve know, Kerr said it. Know who's sweet. Know who's real. Know who's good. Who? Austin Reeves is a good player. God, he's a good basketball player. I hate to be that guy. <laughs> he is he, a good basketball player. Like Austin Reeves? Uh, yes. Okay. He ought to start. He can create off the dribble, create for his teammates. He can shoot. He can get to the rim. He can shoot a mid-range. Like, I don't see many faults in his game. Defensively, maybe he'll step too slow, but he's not terrible on the defensive side. He tries. He tries. I, 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 man, I feel like that. Like Brandon Ingram has been awful this yeah. tournament. Maybe insert somebody like Austin Reeves or what, or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But not Brandon the, Ingram's the, been terrible. Not the biggest Austin Reeves fan, but I, I'm not saying I'm like a big fan of him. I'm just saying like he's his good. game is yeah. well rounded. Like it's hard not to respect his game. This is an undrafted dude. This was like you. out of Oklahoma. No one really gave a damn about the guy. Yeah. And somehow has carved out a role and he's on a freaking National on team, team USA playing well. Yeah. No, you're not wrong. All right, Kenny. You last... wanted to move past that. He's yeah. like Austin. I'm not, not going to sit here and talk about Austin. Reeves. Damn. What a guy.